Hi, this is Jeff with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today I wanted to give you a brief walkthrough of our hammer mills. Uh, behind me here is our medium sized mill. It's a 24 by 16. It'll do about two tons an hour for gold ore or uh, varying throughput for other applications such as scrap metal, glass recycling, or oyster shell grinding. Uh, to walk you through the mill from the top to the bottom, at the top is the inlet chute, and there are two different styles that we offer. Uh, this one is designed for ore to be conveyor fed and dumped into the inlet hopper. Uh, for scrap metal or for other applications where you have bigger chunks of material, we have a gooseneck inlet chute, like this one here. And it's about 20 inches wide by about 12 inches high, so it can take those bigger pieces of material without clogging the inlet. And it's also designed to prevent kickback of material. On the inside of the mill is liners that go all the way around, and these are a AR400 steel, uh, brazen resistant, and periodically you will need to replace these. Uh, maybe about after 500 to 1,000 tons, depending on what you're running. Uh, but all the wear parts are replaceable, so you're never actually wearing the housing of the machine, just the liners. Uh, in the middle of the machine, it, where the guts are, is what we call the rotor assembly. And behind us here, we can see what one of these looks like. There are four rows of six hammers each and all the hammers are reversible for additional life. The mill only spins one direction, so you're only wearing one side of the hammer at a time. And these are a cast manganese steel, which is for impact resistance. This is going to a scrap customer of ours. Uh, for mining, or for glass recycling in particular, we like to use a chrome hammer, which is abrasion resistant and lasts a little bit longer for those applications. The motor on the machine is a 30 horse, three phase Tico Westinghouse, totally enclosed fan cooled. Uh, these are three phase only, they're a little bit too powerful to allow for single phase. At the bottom of the mill, right along this edge here is where the screen sits. And the screen is how you control the discharge size of what's coming out. Um, so for stuff like scrap, we might use a larger uh, one inch slotted, something like that to get the, the steel and the copper and aluminum and all that to come out. Uh, whereas for mining, which uh, this one I believe has a one millimeter slotted, it's a very fine discharge. Uh, this one's going to a mine in Africa. So one millimeter, they get about 70% passing 20 mesh and then can concentrate it from there with the shaker table or a different method. Uh, at the bottom here is the discharge chute. This one has a wet discharge, uh, which they can be run wet. We add a hose in the top and create a slurry on the inside to flow out of the mill this way. Uh, we also have dry discharge chutes, which are just at a steeper angle so that the material can fall out of the mill. Uh, as I mentioned, this is our medium size. We make one that's smaller and one that's bigger. You can see behind me here, one of our hammer mills that's a size smaller uses 15 horse and does about a ton an hour. We're still building it. <laughs> All these machines, they're built right here at our shop in Bellingham, Washington, in the US with American Steel. Uh, we maintain strict quality control over the machines, inspecting everyone when it leaves our factory. Uh, there's another one behind me, the same size as this one, that's being made right now for a customer in the Midwest. So I uh, welcome you to give us a call or email us if you have any questions on these and uh, we'll see you in the next video.